Hello everyone, I welcome you again into my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. It is always a pleasure having you. For those that are new in this channel, my name is Pauline and this channel is all about um, guidelines on how to overcome challenges for us who are working abroad. For us who are in Gulf countries, there are so many challenges that people are going through. So I am here to always give you advice and 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 guidelines on how to overcome these challenges. And so kindly, if you're new, I urge you to subscribe. I urge you to share this video and uh, comment in the comment section so at least I can know what you feel about uh, the topic of today. Welcome again, my name is Pauline. And the topic of today in this video is, who are Kemboys? Let's talk about Kemboys. I know you could be a Kemboy and you're watching me and I don't have a problem with you. But today we need to laugh a little, like, where did the name Kemboy come from? I was doing a research and I wanted to know where, where did the name Kemboy come from? Ilitoka Wapi, the name Kemboy, where did it come from? So why don't we comment in the comment section and hear your opinion where the name Kemboy came from? But this is what I have heard about the name Kemboy. Somebody told me that there was a guy who came from Kenya many, many years ago. You know, many years ago when people, people didn't know how to travel, people or many people were not traveling to Gulf countries. Very, very few people traveled to Gulf countries. And so this guy, his name was John from Kenya. He went to Qatar. When he went to Qatar, he was working very well. And then when he got to after like five months, he met a friend of his who was working outside. For him, he was working in his sponsor's house as a security guy. So, and he was privately employed as a security person. So one time he met this old friend, also from Kenya, and the old friend was working outside in Qatar, but not in a sponsor's house. I think he had, he had also ran away. And he's the guy who enlightened him on what Kemboy is all about. John had worked for eight months. And when he met this guy, this guy advised him there is something called Kemboy. There is something called run, running away. You run away, you come, and I will show you greener pastures where if you're being paid a thousand shillings or 20,000 or 30,000 shillings, out here you can be paid 50,000 shillings. And of course, John wanted green pastures. He wanted more money. So <laughs> that is where he decided to run away and so he ran away from his sponsor remember every time you're trying to Kemboy it's because of your sponsor that you are in that country because it's, a, it's your sponsor who paid for you to be in that country so that is why they call it running away because you're running away from the person who facilitated for you who paid for you to be in that country it could be Saudi Arabia it could be uh, Qatar, it could be Dubai, it can be Bahrain, it can be Iraq, it can be anywhere, Lebanon, anywhere. There's person who paid for you to be in that country is your sponsor. And so Mr. John, the Kenyan man, he decided to run away and go and meet his friend for greener pastures. And that is where the name Kemboy came from. So it was trending because it was a very big thing. You know, it was those days. It was a very big thing that somebody has run away from their sponsor. It was not hard. It was a big, big thing. It was in news, in news in Kenya, in news all over the world, that somebody has run away from their sponsor. Wow. It was a big, big deal. And so it was trending. That time there was no Facebook. So it was in the newspapers in Kenya. It was in the news in Kenya. It was in the news in Qatar. It was everywhere. And that is when, because of trending like that, that is where the name Kemboy came from. Kemboy came from Kenya. Because Kemboy means running away. That, name, that is how the name Kemboy came up. Because of that. It's they say it is called 
came boy and kenyans were so shocked it was trending it was in news everywhere it was everywhere that is where the name Kemboy came from. It is so hilarious. It is so interesting. It is so funny. But it is the truth. But my friends, if you're okay in your sponsor's house, imagine I urge you not to Kemboy. I urge you not to run away. Just stay there. And God will bless you there. God will bless you there where you are. God will give you favor with your sponsor. And she will add you salary. She will go with you for vacations. She will buy you gold. She will buy you gifts. She will buy you a lot of things. So you don't have to Kemboy. What if you Kemboy and you go and get a bad sponsor? What will you do? You'll be running away from one house to another. Hmm? And again, I don't have a problem with Kemboys. Please, I don't have a problem with you people that have run away. I know some of you and most of you are so successful. And I'm so happy for you. I am so happy for you, my sister, my brother. I don't have a problem with you. But my only issue is those who, go, who run away and they get into trouble. They get into trouble. They become sick. They can't go to hospitals for medical care because they're illegally there. God forbid. Or they get into with bad sponsors who can kill them, who can, who can injure them. That is my only issue. And that is the only fear I have. I really fear for my girls to Kemboy. But those who have Kemboyed are okay and I'm happy for them because they're in safe hands. But that's the only fear that I have. And it's a concern because I love them. Okay? So me, I can never advise someone to Kemboy because they make Kemboy and they go into bad hands, a bad sponsor. What will I say? You know? So this is a very, very personal decision for someone to make. It is a very, very personal decision. So I always tell people, if you want to run away, pray to God to guide you. And pray to God you go to a good sponsor. So you don't go to a bad sponsor. And so far, all my girls who have even run away, and I support them and I love them. They are with good sponsors. The favor of God is upon them. They are happy. I have not had any problem. And I continue to pray for them. I continue to pray for all my girls, the ones who are in, in um, who have Kemboid, and the ones who are in their sponsors' houses, that may the favor of God continue to rest upon you. May the protection of God and the hand of God continue to rest upon you in jesus name that is my prayer for everyone even you who is watching me that i don't know you and you're working there i pray for you that may the hand of god continue to rest upon you the protection of god and the favor of god continue to rest upon you in jesus name you're protected and you're preserved from every harm from every evil in the name of jesus I have started preaching that was not my purpose today so be blessed thank you so much for watching me i always appreciate you i always i'm happy to see you every time if you have not subscribed kindly i add you again and i remind you again to subscribe kindly share kindly hit the notification button so that every time i upload a video you will be notified Remember to comment in the comment section that I may always know what you think about this video. God bless you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.